Warning, prior to using the 30M HVBMI kit, read and understand all instructions, read all warnings, safety precautions, and labeling on the jack. Failure to follow instructions listed may result in serious injury. Inspect the jack before each use. Verify that parts are not worn, bent, or missing. If so, do not use the jack. Obtain replacement jack. Do not modify or weld to the jack. Do not use it for anything other than its intended purpose of lifting a wheel to change a tire on the HMMWV family of vehicles. Always lift at the designated lift point identified in the manual the uppermost shock mounting bolt on the underside of the lower control arm, a lift point common to all HMMWVs. Failure to do so will result in damage to the jack or serious injury or death to personnel. Ensure that all air is purged from the hydraulic pump and jack before initial use. Refer to the manual for jack maintenance and purging instructions. If, after purging, the jack still does not appear to be working properly, do not use the jack. Replace jack. If the 30M HMMWV jack appears not to be working properly, it may be necessary to bleed its hydraulic system of excess air. To do so, simply pump the pump handle until the hydraulic cylinder on the 30M HMMWV has extended at least 3 inches. Tip the jack up on its nose until the hose fitting is pointing up. Release the pump valve. Compress the jack, forcing any air back to the pump. Then check pump fluid level. Use two wheel chocks on the tire diagonal to the tire being changed. Sandwich the tire between the wheel chocks by placing one block in front and one block behind tire. Check for adequate clearance for proper jack operation. The base plate includes a gauge for this purpose. Slide the base plate under the A-arm bolt and stand the base plate up under the A-arm bolt. A level surface ensures proper engagement with the lift point. Turn the release valve on the hydraulic pump a half turn counterclockwise to release any pressure before attempting connection to the jack. Locate the six foot hydraulic hose and wipe any dirt, sand, snow, etc. from the hydraulic fitting on the end of the hose. Also, wipe any debris from the hydraulic fitting on the jack coupler. Attach the six foot hose between the jack and pump by pushing the fittings together. Check to make sure the 30M HMMWV jack is fully lowered. Caution. The release valve on the hydraulic pump controls the release of the hydraulic fluid, causing the jack to lower. Opening the valve too quickly will cause the vehicle to suddenly drop. To lower jack, slowly turn release valve on the hydraulic pump counterclockwise, not more than one full turn to release any pressure on the pump. Then, press down on the saddle of the jack to lower it to the fully retracted position. Seat the nose of the jack into the base plate by pulling back on the base plate plunger, then setting the front of the jack into the angle iron slot. Release the plunger. The jack must be in line, parallel with the axle of the vehicle. Position the saddle of the jack under the recommended lifting point, which is at the uppermost shock mounting bolt on the underside of the lower control arm. Close external pump valve by turning it clockwise.
pump the handle on the external pump until the jack saddle has nearly reached the vehicle lifting point. The pump can also be operated by holding onto the pump reservoir with one hand and the handle with the other while the hose end is pointed down. Check to see that the saddle has full capture on the lift point. If not, lower or raise the jack as required to reposition the jack to ensure full engagement between the saddle of the jack and the vehicle lift point prior to lifting the vehicle. Slightly loosen, but do not remove the eight lug nuts on the affected wheel. To lift the vehicle, pump the handle on the external pump. Use smooth, full strokes for best results. Raise the vehicle just enough to remove the damaged tire. Finish removal of the lug nuts and remove the damaged tire. Install the replacement tire and tighten the lug nuts. There may be a need to raise the vehicle higher to install the replacement tire. Adjust the jack height to align these holes and the tire will go on much easier. Ensure all tools and personnel are clear from beneath the vehicle. Ensure hydraulic hose is clear of wheel being lowered. As soon as possible, notify unit maintenance to tighten lug nuts to proper torque. Slowly, turn the pump valve control release knob counterclockwise to lower the vehicle onto the ground. Rock the base plate up by lifting up at the base plate handle and then release. This will compress the jack enough to remove the jack from its lift point. Completely compress the jack before disconnecting the hose. Disconnect the hose from the 30M HMMWV jack. To disconnect the hose, locate the rotating collar connected to the jack cylinder fitting. Line up the U-shaped slot to the pin. Then, depress the slot into the pin to release the fitting. Remove wheel chocks from the tire diagonal to the tire just changed. Store the jack, pump, hose and wheel chocks in their designated locations on the vehicle. 